this is going to be an honest review i spent my good coin and i think that you know the people need to know the truth <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is camellia today's video is going to be a sanctuary haul slash review before we get into this video shameless plug subscribe for the ride honey turn on those post notifications so that you'll know when i will be uploading next and let's get into this video did buy five products I have them laid out in front of me the first time around that I bought all of these all of these products they were on promotion I actually bought them a second time around when they were no longer on the promotion because I wanted to do a proper review this is the sanctuary after all when they finished I reordered them the only thing I didn't have to reorder actually tell a lie the only thing I didn't order again was probably the oil that the oil has lasted up until today it's been six months i was using them all throughout the summer and now we're in the beginning of winter um, it's about that time that i need to switch up my products again so i think it's the perfect time to do this review i bought the sanctuary moisture burst facial wash it says it gently rinses away dirt and impurities and leaves the skin clean and fresh without over drying now if you have watched any of my previous videos you will know that your girl is a ride or die dove soap face wash queen okay i don't use face wash i use the dove soap on my face and i know i know you're not supposed to use soap but dove has always been um good to me so you could imagine it was not easy for me to say i'm gonna just use this face wash i put down the dove i've only been using this and guys you know what after using this face wash my skin felt really lovely and clean they're absolutely right when they say that your skin does not feel over dry i do two washes with this face wash um i definitely recommend using like an electric brush I, it is naturally fragranced and it does have essential oils i believe it has almond oil it has sweet almond oil jojoba oil flower oil castor oil so i actually really enjoyed it it's got the little beads inside it the only thing i don't like about it and it could be slightly because i'm a little bit ocd and i need to see something happening for me to feel like it's working but this doesn't lather you'll be rubbing it in and you'll see something and you'll see a little bit of bubble but it doesn't last long it's not it doesn't get soapy it took me a while to get over that because when it came down to it the bottom line is it does the job that it says on the tin now i am big on um glycolic pills and tonics this is five percent glycolic acid and it's got brightening vitamin b3 and skin conditioning witch hazel this is like 150 ml i don't know why i feel like it's not 150 ml but it's, it's 150 ml it says that it's highly effective in that it is a retexturizing toner so you should notice the difference in the texture to your skin i feel like i've been using it long enough that i should be able to make that judgment in all honesty i don't know that i noticed enough of a difference in the look of my skin the only thing i can really say is that it, it seems to be very gentle on the skin i wasn't loving the price of this i do feel like it was slightly overpriced for what it is so that's all i can really say about this So the next product is the Protect, Illuminate and Moisture Lotion SPF 15. I was so surprised about this product guys because a girl like me cannot use lotion. Lotion is not doing anything for me. So when I started using this and I realised that actually if my skin felt moisturized i was like okay okay this can be good this was my favorite product out of the whole system it says it's got glow boosting um, pomelo it's a brightening vitamin duo and it has a skin blurring complex i love the smell it's got a very 
orangey kind of smell to it and there is an orange oil in it yep there's orange oil in here it's got shea butter so this is the only one out of the whole system that actually has some sort of a smell to it it's not um overpowering but it does it's enough that you can smell it and it's very refreshing what i loved about this is that for the for the summer it's actually a really nice lotion to use the fact that it's got some um some factor 15 as well for someone like me i catch the sun really really easy on my face so I need SPF um, and I need a like a low oil content but that's something that's enough that it would moisturize my skin so I found that this really worked for me also it gave my skin and I'm not sure if that's the blurring effect it gave my skin like a glassy kind of appearance which I really kind of enjoyed I was confident enough to go out I mean I'm confident enough anyway to go out without makeup but this really makes you feel like your skin looks glowy and dewy it has that glass like appearance to it and i really really enjoyed this cream guys in terms of price margin you would have to make that decision as to whether or not you feel like this is something you would want to um, purchase regularly this is probably the only one out of the whole range that I'm actually going to buy again and only I won't be using this at night you can kind of see a little bit of the SPF in it but it's not so much that it bothers me that was another thing that I was really concerned about sometimes when it, you can kind of see that kind of gray kind of you know that look that you get from SPF and I was really concerned about that but it didn't give me that they actually say that it's a really good base for for makeup so you can use it to actually prime your skin before you do your makeup and I would absolutely agree I've been using this underneath my makeup as well um, and I've really really enjoyed using this especially during the summertime you don't want anything too heavy but you do want it to protect your skin which it does that as well about this oil because if you've been watching any of my hauls prior you know I am in love with oil um, this is the overnight replenishing miracle oil they retail at 20 pounds I think I bought it at about 15 or 10 pounds um, and I love a good oil I like to leave my skin wet and then apply my oils so I was really intrigued about this oil my skin doesn't seem to absorb it I noticed that the first time I applied this this oil, it's very thick, which is I love. I love luxurious thick oils. So that was a that was a pro. I absolutely love that. Um, but I noticed that when I applied it to my skin, um, my skin didn't seem to absorb it. Now I don't know why that is. So this didn't go down well with my skin at first, but I was persistent. Um, because I was like 10 pounds honey you're gonna absorb you're gonna drink this up okay 10 pounds you're gonna drink this oil by the time I'd used it for about a week it wasn't so bad um, but I have noticed that still it's the kind of oil that I think my, I think even today my skin absorbs it to a certain extent but the rest of it just kind of sits on I'm not loving the smell of this all of these are supposed to be naturally fragranced if they are it's the sanctuary use essential oils to fragrance their products the lotion is the only one that I could smell anything in but this has a very strange smell it's not it's not um, awful and it's not it's not horrible but it's just not a very nice smell it just doesn't smell like what you would expect a miracle oil to smell like and um, whatever that smells like it doesn't i think that this oil would have went i think it could have done with like a smell to it um but i guess if you're looking at it in terms of you know you just want an oil to just be doing the job and you're not really too concerned about how it smells and this could be fine for you for my skin doesn't love it i am using this to actually remove my makeup um at night because i really wanted to make sure that um, I did get a good use out of this oil. I'll show you. 
it looks quite watery but actually it's a very thick kind of you know it's a nice luxury as well i'm just not loving the smell this has lasted me a while considering i'm using it now to take my makeup off because a little goes a long long way um as i said this only suits me to take off my makeup because it only sits on the top of my skin anyway you might have a completely different experience because everybody's skin's different but as as far as my skin my skin's not loving it Last but not least, um, the, the Polishing Hot Cloth Cleanser. This actually comes with a little muslin cloth. And the idea of this is that it has instantly illuminating, powerful cleansing ritual. And it has um, moisturizing coconut oil, soothing and softening beeswax. The idea is that you would place the cloth, the muslin cloth, into some hot water you would put this on your face and then wring out the muslin cloth and then you would put the hot muslin cloth on your face and i guess it's supposed to steam and help you know the product to penetrate into the skin um, and then you would use the muslin cloth to remove the product this is not my favorite um, product at least with the oil i can do something with the oil um but with the this cleanser i'm not really feeling it guys i don't like the feeling of beeswax on my skin i guess because i'm the type of person that when i do like a ritual or whatever on my face i like my skin has to feel one of two things for one of two reasons so if it's feeling clean it's because i've just washed it and if it's feeling moisturized it's because i apl applied a moisturizer this is a cleanser that once you're done you kind of feel like a film on top of the skin and maybe it's maybe it's me maybe i can't get my head around it around it but i don't like that feeling and i guess that's the beeswax but i don't feel like i can honestly judge this because this is the only one out of the whole system that i didn't use for this whole six months i used it a couple times and i did not like the after feeling it feels like it needs to be washed off um so um i i didn't enjoy that feeling and i used it a couple times after but it's just not for me if you're the kind of person i guess that's got um particularly dry skin and you you like to feel like there's something on your skin still then this will be the product for you not so much for me also uh, uh the, the system with the whole muslin cloth putting it in hot water and then laying it over your face i don't know how effective that is because i feel like in order to open up the pores the muslin cloth has to be at a certain temperature and really you can't get the muslin cloth to that temperature because you've still got to get it out with your hands wring it out and then put it on your face so i'm not sure how effective that whole system is um overall i wasn't too happy with this product you might feel differently if you've tried it um so i would say don't discount it if you're thinking about trying it definitely try it everybody's got different skin types so everybody's um reviews are going to be different the sanctuary does skincare for all skin types and it's all naturally fragrant so they use a lot of essential oils um, and that is definitely what drew me to the product all their products are paraben free not tested on animals to be honest with you guys i thought the sanctuary only did i never knew nothing about their skincare and i honestly thought um that they only did body scrubs and, and like body care stuff because that's what i love them for the only thing i really enjoyed was the lotion so I will be purchasing this to wear in the daytime. I think it's um this is not this is a 75 mil by the way. So I think it's it's yeah for what you get and the price that you pay for this this is definitely a daytime cream you wouldn't need to wear it at night but i really really enjoy wearing this lotion anyway it does definitely do what it says on the tin but prices not so much i would definitely suggest um because this is my review based upon my opinion and my skin if you're thinking about trying the sanctuary skincare range definitely give it a try try it for yourself see how you feel try it on your own skin get back to me in the comments tell me 
what you think so that was it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video um if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up subscribe for the ride honey turn on those post notifications so that you'll know when i will be uploading next follow me on my social media camellia underscore x and i will see you in another video